So, yo, it is a Wednesday, and you are swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I am Kendrick Avant, your agent of gratitude. And what I do is go into middle schools across the nation, and I teach middle school kids character education courses. That way they are learning skills like how to create confidence, how to set life goals, how to build themselves up. This is what I do. And I do this from an entirely new perspective. I go into middle schools and I teach them how to gratitude journal number one, because everything is about mindset over bullshit. I don't think y'all heard me. Everything comes down to mindset over bullshit. It's MOB University. And I've been teaching students that since the early 2000s, mindset over bullshit. And that's because I validate everything that you're going through. I validate every single hardship that you have conquered, every struggle that you still juggle, I validate all of it. And at the end of the game, it is still mindset over bullshit. M-O-B, man. Mindset over bullshit. M-O-B, man. Mindset over bullshit. And you might ask me, So you keep saying mindset over bullshit. What does that really mean? How do you put mindset over bullshit? It's a lot of ways to do it. A lot of ways to do it. Because I coach people and I teach people how to put the mindset over bullshit. And the first thing I'm always teaching people, the easiest step thing to to do is to start a goddamn gratitude journal. That's why the title of my room is Why You So Goddamn Grateful, homie. That's the mindset of bullshit. Why you so goddamn grateful, homie? Why you still smiling despite all the bullshit? Why, even though these bills knocking on your front door, you still grinning? Your kids ain't done a goddamn chore, but you still smiling. That's what I'm talking about. That's mindset over bullshit. Because no matter what comes knocking at my door, I'm trying to have my mindset going on everything that is good in my life. Everything I'm grateful for, I'm trying to hold on to it. I write things down. For the last 463 days in a row, your boy has a blog, allthingsonelove.com. No numbers. All things one love.com and at all things one love.com i have a gratitude journal 463 days in a row i have at least three things i'm grateful for and the magic of a gratitude journal what gets people confused with a gratitude journal is people think with a gratitude journal that you need to have some type of fly ass awesome ass inspirational quote every single time you write And I say, no, you don't. People think you got to have some type of super cool paragraph or some sweet introduction piece to your gratitude journal every single day to motivate you, to inspire you to start writing that gratitude journal. Man, no, you don't. Bullshit, dog. That's bullshit. The easiest thing you do and the hardest thing you do is every day you sit down and you write down three things you're grateful for. But the magic is in writing down why you are grateful. That's where the gratitude journal hits hard, dog. You got to write down why you are grateful. Because 80% of our thoughts are negative. 80% of our thoughts are negative. Come on, man. Think about that. If you got kids, that's the reason why your kids never listen to you. You feel like your kids never listen to you. And I got four of them, three girls and a boy from high school. I got, nope, my oldest is now finna be 20. I got four kids, and I promise, man, 
I feel like none of the four listen, but I know some of them do. I know they do, because if they didn't listen, I wouldn't be raising four kids. I would have stopped a long time ago. It was got to be the kids that are listening to me. And that's the mindset over bullshit. You've got to settle down. And every single day, write down three things you're grateful for and write down why you are grateful for each. And the reason that makes you a better person, the reason that controls your mindset, the reason that improves you as a parent is because it takes you away from the negative thoughts. When I'm doing my gratitude journal, God, dog, I might have realized, huh, kid number three did put up her dirty dishes last night. Let me go and write that in my gratitude journal. And I put down the why. And the reason, the important, the power in that why is that the longer you will put that why statement, you taking your mind away from the negative thoughts. You're taking your mind away from the imposter syndrome. You're taking your mind away from so much bullshit. That's the mindset over bullshit I'm telling y'all about. 